What is up y'all? Hey, Strainer X here, and today we're gonna check out the top 10 most valuable cards from the pre-sell of Twilight Masquerade. Also, I don't normally ask this, but it would really help me out if you could smash that subscribe button. As a new YouTuber, your support is everything to me, and I really thank you guys for supporting me. With that out of the way, let's get to the newsroom. Dragapult EX200, the full art is currently sitting at a market price of around $31. However, earlier pre-sale prices had it around $20, and it has just shot up. The latest pre-sale prices are going for around $50 to $60 on TCG Player right now. I strongly believe this card will settle actually below $20. It is highly playable, but full arts usually don't get above that price. This card is purely being driven around competitive hype for Dragapult EX. Nothing more, nothing less. I do believe that it will actually retain its incredibly high velocity because it is being sold super fast. It's just a gorgeous card and I can't wait to see it in person. I bet those blues and reds just like pop off the card. It's super awesome. And I didn't get to see it in pre-release, so we'll see. EV188 Secret Art Rare. I really, really hope this card actually holds its value because uh, we actually pulled one at pre-release, so that would be awesome. This card has the obvious EV tax on it, so I wouldn't be surprised if it actually appreciates in value. Early sales pegged at around $25 to $35, but it has actually shot up recently with sales going for as much as 70 entire dollars. The card also has like eight EVs in it. So, I mean, if you divide that by $70 by eight, you're really getting some good value, about $8.75 per EV. And it's just an adorable card. This card's value is being driven purely by collectors. It is not a playable card, but you know, EVs in general and the evolutions and stuff are highly tradable, good fodder, and a lot of people, collectors and competitors alike, really like to have them. So if you pull this card, you're in good hands. Value-wise, you're in good hands. Dragapult EX-130, a plain Jane EX. This card is actually tripled in its initial price. It started off as $20, and it's now pre-selling upwards of $60. That is insane. This card will absolutely not stay in this range. It is absolutely, absolutely going to be about a $10 playable. A good price for what most would consider probably the best card in the format right now, or the best card out of this set anyway. This card has an amazing, an insane amount of pre-sale velocity with like five to six copies being sold every day, and that is high for pre-sale. Just like with the full art, this card is being driven purely by competitive players. It would not nearly have the value that it has right now if it wasn't a highly competitive and anticipated card. However, I do know Dragapult DX is actually a fan favorite, so it might have some collector value, but I really have a hard time seeing that the regular hit, the regular EX version actually has a lot of collector value outside of maybe a master set. Unfair Stamp 165, the bright pink ace spec guy. Highly, 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 highly competitive card. I might say it's actually my favorite ace spec so far, and I might go as far as to say that it's better than Prime Catcher, which I might get a lot of negative comments about that, but you know, comment below. Engagement is engagement. But let's be real, this card's value is insanely overpriced. Prime Catcher is like $20 right now, and I believe Unfair Stamp will fall in line about the same price. This card is being insanely hyped by competitive players and has a really good velocity, although Prime Catcher actually had a higher pre-sale velocity, but it's not surprising because Prime Catcher is already out and people love it, but Unfair Stamp hasn't seen much play yet. I say that, but it is being played in Japan quite frequently. Maybe it's not as good as I think, but you have to love the bright pink ace spec cards. I really think I like all of them, but Unfair Step is definitely my numero uno ace spec, and I really believe this card is going to see a ton of competitive play, and it already is in Japan. Kieran218, Secret Art Rare. This card has actually become quite a competitive card, and is being slotted as a one-off in a number of competitive decks. It's no secret why its pre-sale price is so high. It's just an attractive card to a collector at $45. This card is absolutely not going to save this price. Its velocity is insanely low, plus there's a basic version of it that's going for literal pennies. Right now, it actually has only one pre-sell on TCG Player, so the speculative price of this card is literally anyone's guess. Who knows? I only see the price going down. I do believe once sales start, it'll be a combo of collector and competitive value driving it. I mean, again, it's just like a really gorgeous card. It's a highly competitive card, and people are playing it as a one-off supporter in a ton of decks right now in Japan. Parent 220 Secret Art Rare. This card is not absolutely not being played in competitive. I think I maybe saw it in one or two Lugia decks in Japan, but it is absolutely not a competitive card. This leads me to believe that this card is pure collector bait. It is a female card with an adorable paired Hisuian Growlithe card, which is just absolutely amazing when they're next to each other. I bet it looks absolutely perfect in a binder together. I actually pulled the Growlithe in pre-release and was super excited, although the Growlithe itself is only about $5, which I kind of expected the Growlithe to be more, but I guess the Growlithe isn't a female figure. 
if you know what I mean. This card has a significantly low velocity with only two pre-sales on TCG players, so I believe the value will drop significantly on this card over the next month. It will absolutely not retain its market value of $58, that's for sure. Either way, it's a gorgeous card. These two pairings together is just absolutely amazing. I freaking love it. Wellspring Mask Ogre Pond EX Secret Art Rare, 63 entire dollars. This card is being played in a very, 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 very limited number of Lugia decks, and I do not see it becoming a staple at all. The price is also significantly inflated and has an incredibly low velocity during pre-sale, with only one copy being sold on TCG Player. Even worse is that this card has a ton of available pre-sales that nobody has bid on, ranging from $60 to $70. That is not a good sign. When you have a lot of outstanding sales and no one is buying them in pre-sale, it typically means the price is going to absolutely plummet. While I believe the art on this card is super awesome, I don't believe it's going to have a ton of collector value outside of, you know, completing master sets. Buddy Buddy Poffin 223 Full Art Hyper Rare, everybody's favorite new playable now comes in gold flavor. This card will eventually become super high velocity once the price goes down. And let me talk about why it doesn't have a high velocity right now. I'm honestly shocked by the pre-sale price of $78.95. And it has two listings right now for almost $100. That is insane. And I think it has a lot to do with the card's low, 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 low velocity. If pre-sellers had listed this card much lower, which I expect it to crash soon, it would have a much higher velocity, leading to probably one of the most anticipated gold cards of all time, and maybe even the highest pre-sell gold card of all time. But that is not what is happening. Pre-sellers are being very greedy right now, very greedy boys. I'm betting this card drops to around $23, probably even lower eventually, and that's more in line with the other evergreen gold cards and playables that we've seen over the years. Blood Moon Ursaluna EX Secret Art Rare. People really, really like this Pokemon, and it's actually highly competitive right now, so a price of $83 doesn't really surprise me. This card might actually take over the number one slot when prices settle. I believe it'll actually settle to around $50 to $70. We just saw this happen with the SAR Iron Crown EX, and I believe the same thing is going to happen with Blood Moon or Saluna. While it doesn't have a high velocity, it does have an insane amount of cards being sold for an insane price. Well, insane to me anyway. The first one sold on TCG Player went for $100 in pre-sale, and that is crazy for an SAR. The good news about this one is that people are actually only running a one of in their lists, in their competitive list, so that'll actually contribute it to being, you know, still a highly valuable card. The art is also just adorable. I love SARs that have bonus Pokemon in them, and you definitely get some bad boy value out of this card. I mean, look at the little munchlax and all the guys. It's just, they're just hanging out. They're just doing a thing. Carmine 217 Secret Art Rare. It's a female card that's being played in a limited number of Lugia decks right now in Japan, so it does not surprise me that this is sitting at number one. The value of this card is being driven purely by collectors looking for a specific female card for reasons, I guess, but this card is absolutely going to tank. It has an incredibly low velocity, one pre-sale $120, with seven pre-sellers trying to offload the card for ridiculous prices ranging from like $160 to like $130. That is absolutely bonkers. It will absolutely not retain the top spot. I would absolutely not buy this card for a pre-sale price. However, I doubt it's going to leave the top five, so it might stay closer to $60 once the dust settles. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking around with me to the end. If you made it this far, I love you, and you're amazing, and I appreciate all your value and support that you give me a small Poketuber. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love y'all's engagement. It empowers me to make more content, and I absolutely love it. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time.